Welcome back, elites. Okay, so today I'm playing Minecraft. Nothing special on Minecraft. The only reason I'm playing Minecraft is now that I have a gaming computer and I'm able to stream while I'm gaming, I want to show a very unique map me and my friends made a while back. And it's called the Nation Alive. And actually, you can see by a date, it was made on June, June April, May 9th of 2013. Last time I was in there was at 11.35 in the morning. And if I remember, that was the last month of my senior year in high school. And, well, the Nation Alive, that's what Falcon Elite used to be called. Why we named it that, I don't know why I picked that name. But, uh, again, a bunch of our, a bunch of my friends, we got together and we created the YouTube. And it didn't go well. And a year later, exactly, we renamed it Falcon Elite and we started posting videos on it. But going in here it was pretty dope i haven't gone into this build i remember in this build we did a lot of stuff and it'll be pretty cool to see what we did if it loads up there's a sun oh shit <laughs> all right so back in the day we used to call what I'm going to show you, which was the base for Nation Alive, the Nation Alive home base. And it's all the way on the mountain with all the little lights. I think those are like uh, beacons. Again, this game was made four years ago, the, this map. So it doesn't have all the current updates from that. I just want to see. I was going to go to the front door of the base, but you know, I thought I'll make the little staircase. It's like you're journeying to... A ancient temple and most of it's not gonna be clean cut but again we didn't oh my gosh the big Buddhist again with with time I'll go explain all the stuff so okay the reason all the doors are set up with the button on top I think we created it for a zombie apocalypse scenario so that's where we can't leave doors open you push the door and you get in as quick as you can Gosh, I forgot the railroad runs through here. Ooh, hopefully we could go through that too. All right, and the log, the nation alive. So that's the nation alive place. So the, the clouds are going through. Let me take the clouds off, actually. Perfect. All right, and it's it's a pretty big temple. How we made it? Temple base. And I made it, I remember I did the first layer of obsidian. That's where creepers won't make it, make it explode and everything. Why is there a skeleton? Oh, those are paintings. Oh, this is dope. And I even outlined it with lava. That's where no one could pop in here. Oh my gosh, but to get the lava in there, everything burned so many times. And I even made double layer. Uh, I think this one's a switch. Nope. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh, that was dope. I, keep, I forgot about that. <laughs> and here's the house okay so again I ha my friends back then was mostly Caleb Julian probably Steven uh, maybe Adrian Angel who we used to have like computer class together and we didn't do shit in that computer class so this is what we did so Caleb was the chef so he made the bitch in kitchen oh some stuff has fallen so most of the pictures have food just for decorations. I think we even set up all these furnaces to be ready to burn, but this is a kitchen that will fuel us. Oh yeah, you can see we are ready for a zombie apocalypse scenario. Uh, let me see, storage of course. We, I even made an ender chest and everything we did, that's where we wanted to transfer stuff. Again, we never really used the base for survival. We were just still creating. Again, we spent the whole school year creating this entertainment room. Supposed to be a flat screen over there. Green room. Made it pretty green, I think. We put a lot of in, uh, thought into how we want it, this place to be. Music room. So you have the music desk here. And you put the music desk in the jukebox. Nope. Okay, I'll fix that later. That's fine. Oh, and also I remember 
I used to have this Assassin Creed Iron Man with the arc reactor headphone YouTube gamer thing going on. Didn't work out. Uh, this was probably the library. This is a special library. We'll come back to it right now. All right, upstairs. Because I believe this is about a four story, three or four story building. So in each room, each building, okay, Anthony, which is uh, Falcon 2 Real, of course. He had his own room. He made it the way he wanted. Or I think I made all the rooms the same. They even had a closet with storage. Feels weird playing on PC again. I've only played Minecraft on PS3 for the last one. The ju the juice bear cave. Yeah, all the all the beds are probably laid out almost the same. The rooms are almost the same layout, but uh, this was probably someone else's room. There's no reason to go in there. I just want to see the names on it. Jason's room. Remember Jason? And of course, there's my room, Falcon, of course. And I think we just outlined everything with books because we want to look smart. Test lab. Supposedly, this is where uh, it wasn't ready. I was going to turn the whole floor white here when I got a chance. But we're going to do uh, uh, the potions and the chanting and all that stuff. Do whatever test we want to do in here. Uh, there's a random door. Why? I don't know. Let me see what's in here. Oh my gosh. So, uh, just a regular watchtower. Once you get up here, nothing crazy. And we'll, we'll go from there. Now, back to the library. So, this library is unique in the way that is no ordinary library. And I think it's in the corner. There it is. Secret bookcase. Yep. Okay, we get back there. And then you're like, what? What? I remember this one just wall. Nope, there's a secret button. Boom. Okay, so I think this place altered multiple times. But here is a dungeon. Actually, I'm going to change it to easy. Yeah, no, nothing's going to pop up. I'm going to keep everything on peaceful. There's no reason to do it. So we could actually trap people in here. And I think that's even an automatic food uh, dispenser. So any prisoner in there won't starve. Of course, we have storage on everything here. Uh, trying to decide what we're going to do in this room. Potion room. Workshop. And I think there's something special in one of these rooms, too. I'm trying to remember which room. I feel like there's something missing. No, I don't want to stay on it too long. I think it's in storage. I feel like I did more. Yep, I did more. Here's the button. Oh, it drops you down. Forgot about that. Dead end. All right. So you walk all the way down. Doors open. And I think this was a special passageway. Ender portal. Yeah, we light that bad boy on fire and whoop. You go in, but we close it. This was our nether room. And you could go into the nether from here. Get ready for battle. I even think there's a room for training. Yeah, gladiator pit. So it was pretty cool how we did this gladiator pit. You go in here, you choose your weapon, your armor. And then you go in there, someone just locks you in. It's just the same concept as a prison. But then you press this to release the enemy. And actually, let me... It was out of reach, I believe, but let me see. The enemies were like spiders, zombie pigmen, zo uh, wolves, cave spiders, nothing. You know, just to test our wits again we were we went from normal base to hidey hole gladiator over here i think we started doing more stuff over here let me see yeah, there's a button right there but i don't remember what we did for this one we were trying to do something here i think it was going to continue to do something but again it's been so long since we've been in the save file i haven't really remembered anything 
I just remember because I made the this area here. You drop down in. Minecart, yep. And then I think this was cool, let me see. I think you have to do this quick. Oh, he died. I'm just gonna keep pushing it. All the glowstones are gone. That bites. But it's supposed to be going much faster. Oh no, let's go back this way. And so in the beginning when we went into entrance, this is where all that train track was and that was pretty neat. Let me see if we can clash this glowstone and it'll shoot us. Something got. Oh, we must have started rerouting it somewhere else. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. So there's the base outside, the outside view. You can see how much we put into it. My gosh, we even made a helicopter pad. I think that's where one of the doors were going. Then that's where you start over here. You can see where all the chickens we were testing. He made a tree house. Oh, this is funny. He made. His gay bathhouse. And it's just pink. Nothing wrong with it. Just pink. And I think he even did a special tree house. Man, we put a, a lot of stuff into it. I just remember all the planning we want to do. And we're like, oh, we're going to create a big machine. That at the end of everything, it's going to be a big... I just remember we we're gonna make a big machine that was gonna release all these zombies and we're gonna see how the base hold up and if we're able to take out or survive the zombie apocalypse. And I'm sure people have come up with mods and all sorts of things from this. Oh, I remember this, hold on. Before we go to the city, I'll end it in the city, but actually this one, this was left by the first civilization. Of course, we have our, our friendly golem. And I even did light wiring, light switch wiring on this. Oh my gosh. So I remember we did this kind of Indiana Jones thing. Where you go down here and you test your wits. So you can see I left all these strings. And you shoot them. Boom, lava. And then I think there's another one. Shoots arrows, potions, damage you. And you're not supposed to make it through it. And if you make it through, boom, treasure room. And I think, let me see, yeah, so it has all the treasure, but the thing is, the, the chest is booby trapped, so it unleashes all these zombies and skeletons, and it's like, you can't escape with treasure. I thought it was just a little cool thing, we're like, hey, you know, hey, bud, there's, there's treasure down there, you, you want to go grab it? Yeah, go for it, and then, you know, we'll never see them again, they never want to play with us, and that's one less mouth of feed in Minecraft. Because everyone knows growing your own food is hard. So these gates are pretty dope. So what they are, they're they're light sensitive. So when it goes dark, the gates close and everyone stays in there. So once the sun the, the sun's completely gone, I think the light sensors, which are right there, should switch them. And there's about five or four gates. I can't remember how many gates. They're like emerald gate, pink gate, gold gate. There, or based off of like where the gems boom yeah I know amazing and we just did all this stuff I think this is like an office building that I don't really want to get into you see there's diamond gate we still have a lot of stuff going up over here uh, since this is an old map you can see in the distance how stuff ain't complete our old map ain't clashing well with the new map, so we need to find a way 
to make it clash better that's where we don't have those drop offs like that you know we made a store and we have these golems around because they love villagers they keep villagers safe we made houses for the villagers uh i think even caleb who's the jewish bear supposedly who he calls himself he made like an evil church or he just made a church i really don't know what his uh his uh, thing was going for here but he made a church it was dope and he made a huge ass buddha thing so it was a weird church but he put the cross on fire so i don't know what his idea was so i'm gonna leave it there because it's memories but julian helped a lot with this and then actually if you could tell the building was being structured still there was still going on but we even made a sewer system down here with water and everything it we made legit stuff man this is kids with no time on their hands well a lot of time on their hand not no time a lot but that's normally it honestly it brings back good memories but man we wasted a lot of time on this game but oh don't crash okay but that's all I really want to show you guys right now. I just thought it was cool to do a flashback of Falcon Elite before they even were Falcon Elite. How much we, how far we have come already in. Actually, I think I'll add on to it. Probably change the name on there. Not the building, but I'll change the name to Falcon Elite somehow. And keep adding on to the map. See if I could get the map to the current seed. But if you guys want to see more of this, you know, leave a comment below. Let us know. Hit that like button. And we'll catch you all later. Peace out.